Hello everybody, it's Destiny here, back in your video, and today we're going to be playing some more Final Fantasy Type O HD. Now in case you guys haven't checked out the last episode, definitely go do that. We basically, we explore Academia, um, Dr. Arisha kind of murdered Machina and Rem, she wants, she fucking hates some, hates, hates their guts, dude, they want to murder him. And, um, yeah, that's basically about it. We did explore a lot of Academia, so if you want to kind of learn about some side quests and stuff, go check that out. But otherwise, uh, that was about it. So, um, yeah, a uh, recommended new episode. Now, in case you guys are wondering why I'm just, like, having so many episodes of just pumping so many out, it's because, to be honest, they are a lot easier to make. And, um, with the limited amount of time that I have, I just want to get videos on, like, a natural schedule out for you guys. So, okay. So right here is our first mission. We're not going to actually be doing the mission today. I know that really sucks. Um, we're going to be doing a training sort of walkthrough kind of guide today. We're going to be training and uh, giving you guys tips and tricks on how to actually level up your guys and not get one shot. So right here, here is our Ku Kurosame. You've received your first marching orders from Central Command. Don't make that face. Your, your fellow cadets will be there to back you, provide backup if you'd like if you need it. So, active backup setting receives support from Academia and reduce the damage allies take. However, support personnel casualties would be tallied as part of your mission grade. Okay, so, first of all, oh, there's no shame for calling for backup if it helps you complete your objective. Your mission is, is as it follows. Alright, the cadets first deployment. After the first annihilation of its forces of the Imperial Invasion, as you see, the mission is level 42. Uh, Rubrum decides to... Con script cadets into military and send them to battle. The Dominion forms an elite unit of cadets who recapture Mctigi, Mctigia, located on the outskirts of Academia. Central Command selects Class Zero to be part of this operation, marking their first time experiencing real combat. Proceed to the main gate and follow your destination. Once you've completed your objective, return directly to Academia. I expect great things of you. Don't disappoint me. May the crystal guide you. Dismissed. Alright, so right here is our first mission. Now, in case you didn't start it, like, you already, like, have it, so. I'm not gonna be doing the mission, though. I do wanna, like, train my guys, because we have really low level. It's a level 42 mission, and, um, if I show you my squad, my reserves, we literally, we have level 8s. So you definitely wanna be training your guys as much as possible so we can get you ready for the actual battle. Um, essentially, you wanna get to a point where you don't get one shot. That'd be, like, a great point. And I highly recommend you activate SSP, or support personnel, rather. Uh, that is great, it really helps out, especially in Agito. It is amazing. Uh, they essentially like spawn people who are of that the enemy level, so they'll be you will have like a level 47 guy, which is really really nice. And it'll help you out. But I do just want to get make this episode just kind of training walkthroughs and tips. Yeah, sorry about that guys. Um and you guys are probably excited for the mission day. Our first, you know, actual mission. Nope, sorry guys, sucks to suck. But I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite things in this game. Um, wait one sec. Let's, let's go actually save here. I don't want to walk all I'm the way over there you. from here. But it's kind of cool luck. if you can kind of like whoosh. It's just very cool. Only, only, only the cadets are allowed out of here. Class Zero, I don't really know. But you, only the cool, cool kids are out. How about that? So let's save right here. I want to make a... I'll just overwrite this save file. That's fine. Um... And let us... Okay. Moglin. This is your... Oh, I can't... I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice, so I can't really talk so well, but... This is your first sortie as Class Zero. Good luck, Koopo. You'll gain lots of experience in the field, but only if you participate in combat, Koopo. Oh, and remember, if things, turn, if things turn grim, don't be afraid to abort the mission. Koopo, even if the operation ends in failure, the experience will stay with you, Koopo. So, Cadets who assume will earn XP points and level up. Those who remain in the reserves for the mission will not earn XP. However, some cadets perform better than others depending on circumstances. Refer for anything by training all your cadets evenly. Yes, that is a big thing you want to do. Um, utilize your unique strengths to get an upper hand in battle. Just formulation. Okay. So, uh, remain in the reserves. Six level up. Okay. So that's just okay, active prime. These cadets receive our health damage. Okay. Okay, so, alright, so first of all, you do not want to, um, how you can say, it? Like, try not to die, like, not, not have everyone die, I know it's Agito, so it's difficulty, so it's pretty difficult to, like, not have everyone die, I'll show you guys why, but uh, let's just go switch your deserves, first of all, I definitely recommend that you guys, um, 
There you go. Assignment. Let's go to assignment. And put a ranged character as your active. Um, do not put a regular, like, melee. So, for example, this would be... this. I'm going to tell you who not to pick. Or actually, I'll pick you guys who should pick it. So, you should pick King as your active. King. Um, that's good. Let's see who else. Uh, Cater. Uh, Trey. And ace. I think I think that's about it for your active for now. Now this will be your main person that you're using your active, so you definitely want to pick someone who is a high level. Now I'm gonna set those active later. So personally, I like to organize my reserves in like the lowest levels are on the top. Here I'll show you what I mean. My lowest levels are on the top, and then it just gets steadily decreasing depending how hard of a level you are. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So it's 8, 8, 9, 9, 10. Oh, I'm gonna put this down here. 10, 10, 13, put this right here. So 13, 13, 14. And I'll also be showing you, I'll be using a walkthrough, but I'll be showing you a really good assignment where you, how you're gonna use your promotions, and that's like using your SP. So I'll tell you guys how to do that for each character. But um, I'll be using a walkthrough for that though, because I don't know, I, I don't know all these all the characters, but once again, I'll always put the link in the description for a full walkthrough guide. But this is one of my favorite parts of Final Fantasy, um, in this game rather, uh, is, is the world map. Now, I love it how they incorporated, like, the slight RPG turn-based kind of sense, you know, the original Final Fantasy had, because I just love how they did that, because, you know, it's, it's like real time, but you have random encounters, and I love that, and the world map looks so cool. I really like it like this. So, yeah. Okay, so right here it is... I'm already, am I dead yet? Oh no, I'm not dead. Okay, so right here we're fighting some bombs. Now this is one of the, you know, people that you get. So you get random encounters and you might get random people depending on who you play as. Um, or, you know, depending where you are and what location you are. But right here we're going to be fighting some bombs and evil eyes. Now, I highly recommend that, once again, you use a ranged character, because if you get people who are flying, it's a lot more difficult to kill them if you're not ranged. So, right here is Hunlings. This guy is a chaser. He chases you down as much as possible, and he just, he's like a worm, I guess you could say. You'll see how he looks like. Yeah, right there, you can kind of, I know it's hard to see with the bushes and everything, but... He's right there. I would recommend you take him out first, because he can just kind of sneak attack you if you end up doing this. Um, I actually never really got the bomb the first try, it's pretty interesting, I usually get it after a while. Now normally you want to- oh crap, I almost died. See, the, the kind of annoying thing about King is that he actually has to reload, so you want to definitely be wary, or aware of that. So right here we just leveled up, but yeah, you want to definitely be aware of that. But I know for Hunlings, I guess you can kind of jump around and just get to be red, but if you're ranged, just try to, you know... You know just take them out. Yeah, right there is an evil eye, they kind of summon a sort of teleporting thing like yeah like a psychic thing you'll see it go into a ball formation or i just die that's pretty cool too i'm sorry guys i'm trying to give you guys a good walkthrough on how to do this but i'm terrible myself but we're gonna use trey he uses a longbow so once again he is ranged his attack speed is lower than king's though like in my opinion i think king is one of the best to use this on so i'm gonna, I'm gonna get it right when the evil eye is going to use his thing majiki right he's gonna use his Right there. Oh, I missed it. I'm gonna try it again. Let's see. Try to get some range on him. Then he'll, you know, use it. Let's see. I just want to one-shot him. It's a bit easier. You gotta have good reflexes. You want to let him close, but not too far away. Come on. Like that. But I missed it up. Let's try it again. Not too close, but not too far away. So somewhere this. He's gonna melee attack me, or at least try to. Yeah, like that. Get a little bit far away. Come on, Come on little nipple man. Like, really badly. There it is. Oh, I keep missing. You know, you know, I'm actually bad. If I had King, I would be a bit better. But I'm terrible. Come on, dude. Just keep doing that, dude. Just keep summoning. It, it does it right when I roll. Come on. Give me something better than that. I'm not even going to roll anymore. Oh my god. The attack speed is actually really low. I just have to calculate it now. And okay, great. So it looks like I can't actually do anything because I'm terrible. Oh, I got him! Yay! Okay, I'm happy about that. But you know, right when he goes into his ball of formation, use that. Now, definitely a good thing to do against bombs. That these are a bit more difficult. Now.
Now, it is really hard to kill them. Like, the only time they ever go red is when they're about to transform and go into Hyper Bomb form. So, it is a lot more difficult than fighting anyone else. But I recommend that you just try... You can use your Blizzard Bomb. That is a lot of... Or just die, because that's what I do. You can use a Blizzard Bomb on them. Which has a lot of damage. So, yeah. And how I'm going to be working like this, I will uh, try to... I'll try to use... I'll, oh, did I get him? Oh, yes, I got him. But right when you're gonna do transforming, then you can, they go into the red. But uh, if it is just a regular, you could say, training, um, I'm gonna be skipping through ones and like kind of speeding up. If I, Cause I don't really wanna do off screen training to be honest, I wanna get this all on footage. So if I am gonna be training, I will do it on screen. So let's use, Carter isn't too bad, she kinda, has, she kinda charges her pistol before her that's level 3. But it is hard to miss her, so any agile targets I wouldn't recommend using her. Like this, like if they're walking in a straight line, someone purely immobile, use Carter, because she's good in that sense. But this bomb is pretty agile in my opinion, so I'm gonna be using a blizzard bomb and definitely do that. There we go, that was a pretty well timed. We got him. Bombs are a bit more difficult to get him to the red, but you can definitely do that. Okay, yeah, here it is. You can select fight or retreat. Now, I'm gonna retreat. Now, the reason why is because there's another um, formation that you can do. I'm just gonna return to Academia immediately because I don't want to risk going to another battle. battle, but yeah, we revive all our members. Um, but essentially, um, that sort of thing that popped up, it you can just, it's kind of waves. Now, I'll show you what the best, who the best enemy is to go against in waves. But I'm gonna be using King though. King is a great. I personally love King. He's one of the best in my opinion. If you're on Agito difficulty though. But if you're on like a lower difficulty, then it could be really anyone. I don't know about that. But range is the best when you're fighting these guys. So let us see. Let us go back into the main and we're gonna continue doing some farm. I wanna get get to see encounter everyone. I wanna encounter everyone. I don't wanna just encounter damn bombs. So if you want to like try and farm up, just kind of run around in circles, and you'll get something like this. Hopefully it isn't a bomb. Ugh, please don't be a bomb. Please don't be a bomb. Okay, all right. This is I can work with this. Uh, the, see, I'm already frozen, and I'm dead. Are you serious? Well, this also happens. You can just spawn and die like this, because why the hell not? But this is a more typically what you're going to be getting: uh, hun legs, uh, e bat eyes, and aqua flans. Now these three enemies are going to be what you're actually going to get. And I'm dead. Alright, great. <laughs> oh my god. Let's switch over to Carter. She's the last range that we have. Or hopefully we don't die. Oh my god. Everybody, as you see, like, literally everyone is dead. But once you actually, like, get get some abilities... There you go. We got him. You see, a good tactic against the Aqua Flans. You just kind of dodge to the side. And then they're going to lunge at you. And then you just, you know, shoot out whatever attack them. Let's see, come on, come on. Come on, Mr. Evil Eye. Come on, I know you want to kill me. Come on. Come on. There you are. Ugh, messed up. I think I'm going to just kill it like this. So with Carter, you can kind of do a spamming kind of function. Or you can just kind of use charge levels. Uh, see, like level 3, is it, it takes a bit longer than usual. I think I'm going to try to just get it to be level so I can just one-shot him. But he's in rage mode. So he will use his abilities a lot faster than usual and just try to kill me. Come on. There we go, we killed him. And you see, we got Carter leveled up. Yeah. I'd recommend just play solo. As in, like, don't put, like, your kind of worst, like, or your highest level teammates in the top three in your reserves. So you spawn with them, right? But you don't, um, how do you call it? You don't want to... Put your lowest levels because if you want your team to get xp right like if your teammates just die like right off the bat don't put your lowest levels in the reserves like at the top three or else they won't get any xp you can switch to them and you mainly want to level up with your lowest levels and then co go from there you know you don't want to level up your highest levels that's kind of stupid uh, all right so who do we have left i think we have a aquafawn we have one aquafawn and two hunlings so that's okay I'll show you what you do with the Aquafon and actually tell you guys what to do better. So they're gonna get really close to you, like melee range, jump over, and there you go. Pretty easy. It's pretty simple. They're a bit, a lot easy, really easy to kill. 
Um, you can't really damage them regularly. It's really hard if you do not try to one-shot them. Trust me. I know, I know. I, I've done, I try to do it many times. You take, like, zero damage from most of my guys. But these Hunlings, if you have a, a fast attack character, then definitely use it against them. You're going to need a fast reaction team. Fast reaction speed or just a fast, fast attack in general. Or just good timing. That could also be great. It's always good. Now. I mean, no, it's fine. Even if I... Just, I can just kill him, right? Now. There we go. So, they're going to be kind of doing a rolly roll. Now, once they finish that rolly roll, that is when you attack them. Like that. There we go. So, that is a good strategy to get them to their red and you'll level them up. We got a sample of insect oil. That is interesting. But there is one more. The e now I'm going to show you what is the easiest way to level up. Once if we could actually encounter this person, because there is one specific guy or specific group of enemies that is incredibly easy. But let's see, is it it or is it going to be the damn Aquaflons? Um, yes. Okay, it is the Imperial soldiers. So these are the easiest in order to. These are the easiest when you are <clears throat> fighting. Now, the reason why these are the e easiest because you can level, you can kill them so easily. They're so predictable in their attacks. Like as you can see, like he's trying to shoot him, right? But the really easy ones is times so like you have two Imperial soldiers, right, and one rocket RPG guy. But since this is an open area, it is really easy, <laughs> really easy to kill them. So I'll show you what to do. So the basic one that you usually go for is they're gonna charge up to you and then try to use their bayonet on you. But you want to get him get it like close. Oh, you try to shoot me, but like this and like that, like so. I wouldn't like be careful if you're using a slow like attack speed character because it is more difficult. For this RPG guy, it is really easy. Right after he chooses RPG, he dies. And let's see. Please, please, please allow me to fight again. Please. Ah, all right. We didn't get that option. Um, I really want to show you guys that one last thing where you fight again. That essentially, ha what that means is, um, there's like a, kind of like an arena, sort of, in the middle of this, so, once, sometimes it happens, oh, this is a bomb, I don't want to fight a fucking bomb, dude, and, oh, a first strike, okay, uh, it is another bomb, but if it is an ambush, you see, like, your characters are frozen, like, you saw that right in the beginning, but we got first strike, which is nice, um, kill Evie on, Evie on, you're definitely gonna kill Evie on, So like we don't do like no damage, but we <clears throat> we definitely don't do that much damage. <clears throat> What's this elementary, dude? That, that's cool. Elementary, my dear Watson. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So it is a bit hard if using Carter or Cater. What the fuck are you? I'm not like Carter, but Cater in order to fight these guys. As you see, our team is dead, like always. Like unless you like. It'll take a while. Like, I know it sucks right now because your team is, like, gonna be dead, like, 90% of the time you get into a battle. But, trust me, it does get a bit better. Um, once you, like, level up all your teammates, you don't get one shot. And once you give them, like, abilities, assign them good abilities, then you won't get one shot. And, um, <clears throat> they'll stay alive. But you definitely want to train. You want to train a lot. Um, especially on Agito, because this is, this is gonna be big. Once you get to a point where you're not getting one shot, I know it's a bunch of times, then you'll be good. Like, then I think you, then you can start a mission or whatever, because it's just going to get harder and harder, like, by a lot. Um, the skill jump between each mission, or, you know, whatever, level gap, rather, it's going to be huge. So you definitely just want to keep training in order to just get on par with the enemy, you know? Otherwise, it's just going to be just a clown fiesta. It's just going to be you dying over and over again. Just keep on switching characters now. And, like, once I first played this game... Now, I didn't even play that much of this game. But the first one run-through I did go over in this game... Um, I completely... I died, like, every second. Like, there was not a single time where I did not die. Especially in random encounters. I really did not know what to do. And I would just keep dying. And I was at a point where I had, like, one person left. Like, four team reserves... Oh no, sorry, I have, like, one guy left. So, it, don't worry about it. Like, really don't worry about it if you just keep on dying. Uh, just try to uh, abandon missions that you can. If you're, like, too many people. So, always also check your reserves right after each, uh... So, abandonment. So, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have to start on six. 
You have Dreezing Jack and Sice or Sice or Six or something like that. But um, yeah, let's let's keep running around here. It's been about 20 minutes. I just want to get into one more fight. We're really leveling up Carter now. I shouldn't be doing this. I'm leveling up a bit too much. He's level 12 now. I'm gonna head back. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I really had to show in this training session. I really wanted to show one more thing. Actually, let's see. Can we do it? I just want to show maybe even a glimpse of it. Alright, we're ambushed. Oh, okay, I hate it when we're ambushed. Oh, uh, you see, we are on a kill site. Now, basically, kill site is, you know... I mean, to be honest, it doesn't even make a difference that we're on kill site because, you know, we're always on kill site, technically, because we always get one shot because it's agito difficulty. But yeah, as you can see, it is really easy to do this. Like, it's really easy to do the Imperial Soldiers. That's why I just always farm off them. Always, whenever you can, just try to farm off them because they're so easy to do. It's like, not even funny. They're so easy to kill, and like, you get so much XP across your team. You can see Sice, she just decided to literally. Oh, yes! We got it! She decided to just walk in front of the RPG guy. But this is the enemy presence de detected. Now, essentially, this is five waves, right? It's five in total. You can keep going on and on, but, um,. But, you, but every time the enemies get a bit more stronger than, you, than last time. So right here, the last time the enemies were level 40, but now they're level 42. So you can see that change, that difference in difficulty. Now, if these are the Imperial Soldiers, definitely do them. Because you can just get a lot of XP. You can level up so easily from these guys. Just died. You can level up so easily, as you can see. Like, that didn't even take... It, it went faster than what it would be on a lower difficulty. Because of utilizing the kill site, and these are just so easy. Like, I'll repeat the strategy again. They'll run up to you, these Imperial Soldiers, right? And they'll try to ban at you. Oh, sorry, I timed time that correctly. Um, they'll just try to run up to you. And see, they're there shooting me right now, from the other ones rather, but it, they're just going to run up to you. You know, just get to a point where they can go up and melee you, and then you can kill them really easily like this like so it's just it's so simple you see jack is about to die i don't want him to die dude don't die jack yes all right did jack die i think jack died all right that's fine um yeah you can, you can keep doing it and always do it when it's superior soldiers because that is the easiest you see now they're on yellow health that means they have like two bars of health now but it doesn't really matter considering you just utilize the kill site and now they jumped to 49 but, see, Carter's actually not too bad. When I first got her, I thought she was terrible, but she actually isn't too bad. Um, there you go. Like, it's it's that simple. You just keep farming off that. Now, it will take a long time to get your all of your people up to par. But I would recommend you kind of train one person at a time. And get them to where your other teammates are at. Because, like, you don't, like, how you can say it? You can't really train them equally unless you get to, like, you got all your, like, the right spells, the right promotion, all that stuff. And I will cover that in the next episode, not this episode of this. Right there. There we go. There we go. We're level 14 now with Carter. So, this is basically enough training with Carter. I'll be doing some more with other characters. And what I'm thinking about is next episode I'll also do a bit of training. I just want to get everyone up to par and then I'll start the mission. I don't I don't want to do any off-screen training because I think that just kind of takes away a lot. And let's say if I encounter a new person, I definitely want to do that. I'll just speed it up like really fast and I'll just stop and I'll just talk about a bit with what would happen. But yeah, alright, let's return to Academia. And I think I think that was a good episode. It was a bit longer than usual. I'm really sorry. I just wanted to get in everything really about um everything about you know training and stuff because that is a huge part especially in adjective difficulty so now carter is level 14 she is one of our best so let us go switch that up put her there like i like to do this strategy um it helps me decide like who to train when and stuff like that it just it, it's my personal opinion you can assort them however you want so now we can have okay now we have to train rem eight seven tray all that stuff but anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you watch at this point you are amazing I really don't know what else to say. You're just pretty awesome people. But if you guys have a uh, have a great day. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you all later. Uh, uh, bye. <laughs>